If you happen to be watching this video, chances are you've seen, or at least heard of, another skateboarding YouTuber by the name of Jonathan Hillian, aka John Hill. Now I've watched John's videos for quite some time now, and I dare say I enjoy them very much, but there is definitely a distinct formula that he employs in each and every one of them. But before we examine that, here's a quick skate session from the other morning at Candyland Skate Park. Now I'm obviously nowhere near as good of a skateboarder as John Hill, but I don't think that matters all too much just as long as I'm having fun with it and the edits are good. That is something that's crucial to keep in mind that each skateboarding session is meticulously edited to the beat. You're gonna wanna make sure every other landing, if not every landing, is syncopated to a beat or some kind of rhythmic device in the song. Be sure to switch up those angles when you're skateboarding so that the flow doesn't become stagnant and the skate session remains interesting to watch. Make sure that you include some vertical aspect ratio clips in your skate session because you'll always be looking to upload to your ever-growing, ever-massive Instagram page. Living in New York City, you have a plethora of amazing skate parks and skate spots all at your disposal so be sure to include lots of interesting locales for your skate sessions. Remember, skateboarding doesn't have to be about insane tricks or massive obstacles. Spend some time tinkering on some unusual spots and open up that creative skateboarding's third eye. So I found this little box a while ago. It's the most unlikely of skateboarding obstacles, but I'm gonna see if I can do a specified number of tricks on it. That was so much harder than it needed to be. I don't know why board slide to fakie did not work when I could just get board slide every single time. I think it's just because with a regular board slide, my front wheels don't need to touch the obstacle. But with going into fakie, I sort of need to push off from the front side. And so I was just sticking every time and then there's these little metal brackets on the ground. Probably one of the longest struggles that I've gone through in, in recent times.
Being a highly dedicated, persistent, and sometimes stubborn skateboarder, you'll often battle with the same trick for hours on end, even whilst a thunderstorm looms ominously in the distance. But this persistence, this unwillingness to give up even when the times get tough is one of the hallmarks of being a great skateboarder. You will not take no for an answer even when a trick is giving a very, very hard time. You're just acutely aware of how amazing it's going to feel once you overcome this battle and that's what keeps you going. As an added bonus, if you've been skating for over 15 years and you're struggling to land a trick that is really pretty easy that you should be able to land first try, if not second try, be sure to let your anger get the best of you and throw a screaming fit in public as people watch in fear and concern. And that's gonna do it for today's video. Everything I said was meant in fun, no harm intended. I truly enjoy watching John's videos. If you'd like to keep up with me in real time, follow my Instagram linked in the description below. Stay tuned to this channel for skateboarding and shenanigans every single week. And until I see you next time, take care, advance constantly, and keep on spooding!